All right, so um, we in, we were gifted some sheep. Uh, it was kind of a mad rush. I think I did some recordings of their corral and everything, and we'll show you real quick. Uh, we're trying to get them out into pasture. They're still they're still a little skittish, so I don't want to just open it up, you know, and let them run around too much. Uh, so we put up some temporary fencing for now. And I'm gonna show you what we're trying to achieve and eventually what we're going to achieve. Um, but we started here, put up some temporary fencing. I've got, got a, a, a gate so I can get out. We're going all around, trying to give them some, some fresher grass. Uh, we made it up to this point here so eventually now that I've got now that I'm gonna be able to open up the gate and let them into this area I'm gonna start working on fencing over to over to the corner of this other greenhouse and along that line and start taking them out that direction um, here's our, our inherited sheep that we have uh, we have their makeshift corral. I, I didn't have time to build a uh, a barn enclosure like I wanted to, so um, I took some of those liquid containers, rolled them on their sides, cut them open, gave them some place that they could go. Um, they're still not going in there, but we've only had them for about a week. Uh, they're starting to finally come around a little bit and, and be not be so so skittish. But, uh, yes, and Reptar. But eventually my goal is out here by that white corner post. Um, we do have bob wire running down to the front fence. I wanna cross fence it back this way. I need to clean out the pond area and eventually I would like to be able to herd them out there. Uh, along with maybe someday we'll have some cows out there as well. But um, I, I'm hoping that once these guys kind of settle in and, and they're a little more friendly uh, when we can approach them, uh, I'll go ahead and just release them out in the yard and let them, let them kind of graze wherever. I'll herd them over to some area and let them graze and, and whatnot. But for now, I've got to put up some temporary fencing. Uh, which we've done. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and as you can see, they've pretty much mowed down all the grass in there and that, that's only been a week. So I may need to put a tie back on here to make sure that this gate stays open. So they, so when they want to retreat back in there. For now, I'll just, I'm just going to use this. File card. Hey, Reptar. Yeah, something like that, but I could, I'd be able to get some of that, some of that coat out. Pancake, back it up. Pancake, get over here. Good boy, Waffles. Huh? He's a good boy. Can I see you? Peaches. Pancakes, get over here. Waffles.
Okay, um, it's been a while since I've actually recorded stuff while I've been working. Uh, so, as I think we already have mentioned, we have some sheep now, and um, I am trying to give them some temporary area to uh, be able to come out and graze. Um, I'm still not confident that they will stick around. They get spooked pretty easily. Hey, editing wifey here. Uh, I just had to chime in because I started chuckling when he said this. They indeed did not stay contained. <laughs> the first chance they got, they bolted, went to the neighbor's yard, and she has 20 acres. So <laughs> I wish I got video footage of it, but of course I didn't because our main priority was to get them back into our property. But the whole family had to chase them over all of her acreage. <laughs> back and forth trying to get them back in to our yard and then back into their pen. Um, it was hilarious now and very upsetting at the time. Okay, now back to your show. So I'm trying to give them some temporary fencing to keep them contained. It's been really nice. I do have one area that we've already opened up to them and they will go back in the evening back into their corral so we can close them up. So that's been a plus. Uh, let me walk you around real quick. Like I said, this is it's still a disaster in a lot of areas because of the greenhouses and all the plastic still around. It's just been hard to get to it. But let me show you what we got. So, over here, There are our sheep. This is their corral area in here. And I've opened up the fence line along here and down, down along this area. And then as you can see, I have a fence right here. This I'm eventually gonna open it up and we're continuing our fencing along to here, cutting back over this way. I'm just utilizing what's up right now. It helps me so I don't have to put more T-posts in the ground. T-posts in the ground, yeah. Um, so we're just moving along. Somewhat. I basically all I did was was frame this pan, frame this wire on three sides. Um, it's just it's just attached to the fence here. But this way, this way, um, I can go ahead and. Open it up, I could, I'll be able to swing this all out. That way, I can get the tractor in there if I need to. But my goal was, my idea was um, swinging this all the way open and then they could come out and graze out on this side where we can actually monitor them because there's where we are at right now. So they can come out in this area, and I feel a little bit more confident, but that'll be about a week away. I'm going to give them about a week or so into this area, and we'll see how things go. Alright, so there is, once again, the sheep corral. I'm going to build a, a, a barn for them pretty soon. They've got those liquid containers. They don't really use them, but I was eventually
eventually going to bring that, that fence over this way and come back this way so they can get all in here, but I'm really thinking once, once they mow down all this pasture that we just gave them, I'm thinking I can just open up that fence and they can, they can just, they'll be, they won't be as skittish. And uh, hopefully they'll just kind of stick around this area and then go back in the evening like they've been doing. But, so they're, they're happy. They got more, more to graze on. And while they're grazing on all this stuff, a lot of the stuff in their corral is starting to grow back. So hopefully this will keep them busy for a while. It's kind of what we've been up against the last uh, the last week. This is we are in April. This is Passover for us, so we've been doing a lot of a lot of a lot more Bible studies and and really observing what Passover is all about. So uh, it does take away uh, some time from what we're doing out here, but you know that's the way it's supposed to be. We're supposed to give God praise first. Um, and we are very blessed. We are very thankful for what we have. Um, and we will continue to clean up the mess and continue, continue to record and keep you guys updated. Uh, like I said in some of my other videos, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We try to get to all the questions when we can. Um, like I said, I might make a list and just do a video answering questions. So. We appreciate you guys following us and uh, following our journey and hopefully we uh, will get some more stuff out there soon for you guys so thanks again and have a blessed day